It's genuinely turned out to be better than I thought it would. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan if you are new here and thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing an office makeover study. I don't even know what to call it. But yes, online college is starting very soon. Well, technically I'm in the present so it started for me today. But I'm gonna jump back to two weeks ago in this video when I first bought my table. I bought like an old antique table for like 10 pound and I painted it and did it up and then I finished up the renovation of the actual study room. So this whole video is me doing up that table and then at the end I will show you a tour of the room and me decorating it. So I had loads and loads of fun filming this. I absolutely adore my space that I have created and yeah i think online college is going to be that bit easier this year that i have this cute little space to be in so i'm very happy but without further ado why don't we just get into the video so throw back to two weeks ago <laughs> So long to burning slowly, smelling sweat and kerosene. And all the actors on the stage are rolling cigarettes and whispering so low. Cold. Best Elton's keeping me company. I'm going to put on a podcast now as well to help me get through this but yeah having lots of fun okay so don't mind the state of me i've been sanding all evening and yeah i'm a wreck also apologies for the crows but i'm about to put an undercoat on the table i'm just gonna do a quick dry undercoat and it's a mid gray because i sanded the table however it's like veneered wood and it's just not got enough grip to it to put the paint straight on it. So I'm going to do an undercoat and then put the official color on top. That is my plan. I'm wearing a big t-shirt that I wear to bed and just some shorts so I don't ruin any of my good clothes. But yeah, that's how far we are. Kind of like a gray but almost like a navy gray hard to describe but that's kind of the color i'm thinking for the table okay so i've just painted the table and it is downstairs so it is the official color that is painted on it but i didn't film that because i actually want to just like surprise you guys when i'm doing the actual tour of here you'll probably see snippets before then but i just wanted to make something is surprising and exciting about this video. I am just up in the actual little office room itself. I have a few bookshelves up here that are full of my mom's like house magazines and some books of my dad's etc that I just want to organize and make it look a little neater and cleaner and I don't think I'd do anything like color coordinating or anything like that because I just yeah the effort of that but I just want it to look a bit neater because my desk is going right below them and I just want it to look nice and pretty because I love my aesthetics but also practicality. As you can see they're just a bit messy, need some love and care. I've just tilted the camera up so you guys can see the shelves. I've kind of started to organize the top here. I'm gonna organize all of that now. It's probably gonna take me a little while but again I'm a bit of a nerd for organizing and things looking good so it'll be fun for me. I've 
just found Michelle Obama's autobiography and I've been dying to read this and I didn't even know we had it so excited to read that I guess and that will definitely be a main feature on this shelf. <laughs> oh my god that hurt. I've started the majority of getting the shelves cleared. I am surrounded by magazines right now, so I'm just trying to organize them. I can't wait to paint a few prints and then put them here right in front of my desk. I genuinely am so excited about this. Like, this is so exciting to me. I hope you guys are excited as well. Do you guys get excited about this kind of stuff? Let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments because I feel like when I'm really in a rush, especially like creatively and like I'm lacking motivation, if I do like one little different thing to my room or if I put something new into my room, I'm like, oh, lace of life. I'm a new woman. Also, there's a tree right outside this window here and it's starting to go yellow like the leaves on it. And I just cannot wait to sit here and just look out the window and just literally see autumn happening right in front of my eyes. Oh. I'm such a romantic, it's actually sad. Okay guys, it's been a few days and it is time it is time to show you guys my office we're going to do a tour i'm going to talk to you guys all about it it's not very big so it's not going to be a massive tour but i really wanted to show you all the final product and so here it is tell them I'm not coming home. so long silent movies to wake in early staying late Okay, so let's chat through a few things. We're gonna start in the corner right here first. So I have this plant. If you guys saw recently, I bought this plant from Marks and Spencers. It needs some love. I'm trying my best with her, but I have her sat in the corner here on a pile of books because I was gonna buy like a little stand for it because I didn't want it on the ground, but this was perfect. So she sits there, beautiful, nice greenery in the office, exactly what we wanted. Now going straight up from that, we have the bookshelf. Now my mom has a lot of house magazines, a lot of books, so I had to make this look as nice as possible while also being practical. So we have lots and lots of house magazines all on top of each other here. This really cute photograph that my mom and dad got me in Italy. I love it very much. Now here is right above my seat at the desk, which I wanted it to be a bit more me with my books here. We have Jane Eyre, Dune, Ready Player One, Pride and Prejudice, The Great Gatsby. I have a pack of pens up there as well. Here I have Becoming by Michelle Obama, which I need to read. I got these two movie related books from my auntie, which was really kind of her. And I have my new journal that I still have to use. Above that again, again, more books. I also have my big camera and a few things up there. I brought my ivy plant in from my bedroom to put here because I thought it was so cute, the idea of having a plant hanging down. And I really, really love it here. So I need to replace that in my bedroom though. Again, more and more books. Unrelated, but I just tried my best to make this look as pretty as possible. And here's the best part. So this is my desk. It is all done, as you guys can see. I'm so very, very obsessed with it, but I'm gonna sit you guys down and chat with you about it now. I also added a really big mirror in here 
just opposite of the desk to just open up the space since it's so small and it's really nice i also love the backdrop here if i ever want to take mirror selfies because it's so cute but this gives you a good outlook on the room when i actually show you through the mirror that this is what it all looks like together i am absolutely in love i'm going to keep saying that but i will have anything i can linked below honestly i did this on a really really small budget like the table was 10 pound i got the laptop stand for 30 and I really think that one is worth it because it really just stops you from looking down so much at your laptop it's handy to have up there so that you can have all that desk space I also got the plant for 15 I already had that plant and I already had all of these books but and I already had this chair and that lamp so everything I already had but yeah, as you guys can see, that is the whole office there. I also plan on adding some prints to this wall above here. So the office is finished and I absolutely love her. It's been a few days since I last checked in with you guys and I have been using it non-stop. I really, really love it. I actually have my first day of college today while I'm filming this. So I cannot be long on here because I have to get onto a Zoom meeting soon. But I just thought I would chat with you guys about how I found the whole process, all of that kind of stuff. Buying an old table was definitely the best part of this. I'm so, so happy I went with that option because it was so rewarding in the long run. It took me a few days of sanding and painting to get it where I wanted, but honestly, this is absolutely perfect. I adore the color of it. I think it is so cool. I love it so very much. I can't wait to put a few more things on top of it and style it up a little bit more. It has four incredible drawers as well that I can fill loads of things in throughout the year, put my notebooks or anything etc that I need on hand, which is so handy and helpful. It's such a great size as well and a great length. I've got plenty of space to put my laptop on it and then write while watching my laptop. I actually got a really nice laptop stand to put on my desk so that my laptop is high up and I can then have plenty of desk space to write and do other stuff while I'm listening to my Zoom meetings. And the fact that this table was 10 pound is insane. I got this table from an auction house in Northern Ireland, by the way, that's why I'm saying pound, but I really, really recommend heading to your charity shops because there's lots of desks and tables like this in different charity shops that you can easily do up. I also recommend heading to Pinterest and having a look at before and afters because sometimes you'd look at a table and think that could be nothing that's not worth it but actually when you sat it down paint it it's a whole new table gives it a whole new life best thing i ever did above my desk just below the bookshelves i'm thinking of adding a print there's a matisse print that i've been eyeing up on decennio i think it's called i really want to get that it's really nice seasonal colors as well i have a few little bits that i still want to add in here to make it that even bit more homey it still feels a little bit bare, but I love the plants in here. I think it gives it a whole lease of life. I, I just am over the moon. It's genuinely turned out to be better than I thought it would. I honestly think having this little space will mean so much to me throughout the year for being able to edit in here, do my videos in here, and then also get my college work done in here so that when I go back into bed and into my bedroom, that's purely relaxation time and I'm not thinking about anything else or being on my laptop or my phone. I also brought this study lamp in from my bedroom. I got this as a Christmas present last year from my dad, but the color of it matched so so perfectly with the table so I had to bring it in here I also brought in this gorgeous little pot that you guys will have seen I got in Sostrand and Green a little while ago to hold my pens and pencils and again it matches the color theme really really well I've added my little antique candle well antique library is what it's called candle to my desk I got this candle in Galway and I love it very much so I think it's about time I like that I've also been saving my new journal for when I'm actually sitting in here so I'm gonna start using that today as well I also think I will be getting a different chair this one is just one we had in the house and it's not the most comfortable one on the planet so I will be looking around for another chair that's another thing that I want to make a change in but I'm I'm so obsessed with how this room has turned out. If you currently have a space that you need like a bit of inspiration for, I really, really recommend plants, adding a plant to your room or something as such. I think they bring such life into the place. And also maybe looking at maybe painting a print yourself 
or something to hang up on a wall or even stuff like adding fun little pots like this on top of your desk I think just gives it a nice lease of life. Other than a few finishing touches that I need to do this is basically it and if you guys want to see any of those finishing touches that I do I'm sure they'll be coming up in vlogs and definitely over on my Instagram I will be posting all about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration to do up a little space of your own even if it's just a desk or something as such just try to create the most calming environment you can right now during this year I know it's going to be tough doing work from home and I know I'm incredibly blessed to be able to actually have a separate space than my bedroom I hope you guys got some inspiration from this and if you're thinking of buying a table maybe have a look at your charity shops and do a little bit of a DIY job just like I did I'm about to go start my very first day of college I will have plenty of college content I'm sure up throughout the year so subscribe and follow along if you want to see more more of this office if you want to see more content I will have it all coming your way thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon cleaning dust off of the press box.